Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is KPZ. You're here on the home of the Slightly Above Average Ship Review. Got a match for you today on Crash Zone. It is a domination match. And we've got the Ohio Brawler build going on today. And I got to tell you, my big takeaway before you watch this match is... I think the Brawler build is more fun than the ranged build. Um, now, clearly, you saw my ranged build video, 231,000 damage. Uh, uh, the damage number speaks for itself. Here's a look at the teams on Crash Zone. Obviously, we're top tier. All right, a very brief look at, look at the teams. Um but I think that the Brawler build offers a little bit more in terms of entertainment. Now, there's not going to be, in full disclosure, there's not going to be a whole lot of secondary battery hits. You know, the match I played right before this one, a lot more close quarters action than you're going to see here. This, isn't, this video isn't going to be a really good demonstration of, um, you know, how good or bad the Ohio is at fighting in close quarters. Uh, it's just going to be a different game than the game you saw in the range build, obviously. Um, but I think it's more entertaining. I really, really do. All right, Shifelin, we are not going to shoot. Uh, we've got that uh, Ernest Lee, I think, is his name. He's got glasses on. Got a guy with glasses behind the wheel. I want to say main battery range 17 and a half. So yeah, that's a detriment. Uh, first salvo. Is that the Kurosame? No. Oh, that's the Brisbane. The campaign ship from last campaign. Well, we got a Citadel hit there. Hit him for about 20,000 damage. He's slowing down trying to get away. Nope, you aren't getting away. Boom, Shalaka. Kill number one. First blood. Another hit to Citadel. And that is going to start the killing here in the Ohio Brawler build. So, I mean, look at that. First ship we see. Hit him a couple times. Couple Citadels. Back to the port for your newly minted campaign ship. All right. We've got a Kronstadt over there. Now, yes, I mean, this salvo won't be as juicy and delightful as the ones before it. That's okay. Originally I was going to slow down. Now I decide to speed back up. I'm going to let this destroyer shoot from outside of its own smoke screen, which I thought was really kind of funny when I saw that. I'm like, hey, he's in the smoke screen. And then he's not inside his own smoke screen. We're also speeding up because that torpedoes coming in right there from the Shima. More torpedoes going in front of the bow. Get those turrets lined up, and we are going to shoot here at the Kronstadt as he tries to back up behind the island. Front turrets, rear turrets, no impediment there. And we do get some hits, but I mean, whatever. I think we're over 50,000 damage right now. So about 30k worth of damage, no complaints. What do we have over here? Uh, Shiflin. I think I'm close to getting the Shiflin out of the Bureau. Front two turrets toward the Shiflin. Bunch of torpedoes coming nowhere near me. Shooting HE. Come on, man. You're in a battleship. What are you shooting HE for? Just looking around. Take a look at this battle space. I know I can't count on any help from that destroyer. Uh, did the Shiflin get evapped? I think he did. I think when I wasn't looking... The Shiflin just got evapped. All right, so we're moving in towards a smoke screen right now. You know, the red team has two ships, Kronstadt, another ship. They're behind the island. You can see to our star, our port side, pardon me, on the mini map. So I know I don't have those to worry about. So the closest ship right now to me is this destroyer because I think the Shiflin got evapped because I don't see him anymore. So we're moving in on the destroyer and I'm spotted. So I'm really at the mercy of the torpedoes of the Shimakaze. Now, one thing I can say 
is that U.S. battleships, generally speaking, have pretty good torpedo damage reduction. There's a Worcester out there on the other side of the island. We are just going to keep doing what we're doing. Matriculating down the field, as Hank Stram used to say. And we're going to shoot at... Was that another Konigsberg? All right, here come the torpedoes. You know, why would my blue team destroy our spot the enemy destroyer? Nope, he's just going to let me deal with it. So we are flooding now. Maine? What is that over there? I can't even see the words. Des Moines. All right, we're going to shoot at Des Moines. We took out Brisbane. And we'll take out Brisbane's sister ship, the Des Moines. Just kidding. Not its sister ship. More torpedoes. We cut it back just in time. And managed to dodge that second torpedo. We did activate our heel. And right now, looking out at the ships to shoot at. Maine, not giving me a lot. Worcester. We're going to tune up the Worcester. And look at that. Somebody left him on the very edge. You never do that, man. All right, we're going to turn back in here and avoid these torpedoes. And there's another Citadel hit. Kill number two on the Worcester. All right, Kronstadt out there. We already beat him up. He's shooting at me. Just a little bit of angle totally mitigates that. And Des Moines is still HE spamming me. And that's fine. We are just turning to get Kronstadt. And first two turrets are out on Kronstadt. Here Johnny Come Lately shows up with a smoke screen. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Kill number three. All right, there goes the Kronstadt. All right, taking a look at the conch out there. Keeping our turn going. We're going to use another heal. We needed to. Des Moines still HE spamming me. You know, can this destroyer kill the enemy destroyer? Nope, he doesn't know what I'm talking about. He never heard of that before. Killed the enemy destroyer, why would I do that? All right, shooting at conch. What can we get out of that salvo? Well, maybe I did get a secondary hit on the destroyer, so he's good for something. But because we turned around, I'm just going to abandon both those ships. I can't, don't see the reason to go after the destroyer. And the conqueror is behind an island right now. So really, I'm kind of angling to get shots at the ship in the middle. I'm not saying I wouldn't shoot at the conqueror, but right now I'm not going to have a whole lot of luck shooting at the conqueror. I think I'm going to peek right here. To try to see him. We're just blindly shooting. Didn't even line him up. Can we get some hits here? Oh! Well, yes, we can. Hit the Citadel. And that is kill number four. All right. Rear turrets back into the middle. Looking out here for the main. Very aware. More torpedoes in route. Lots of more torpedoes in route. The uh, Shima here is really gunning for me, and I'm not going to play that today. Nope. Turning our front turrets around, turning, 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 making sure we're going to avoid these torpedoes. Two torpedo hits would kill me right now. Also got Des Moines. Des Moines is an easier target. Checking out his heading and bearing. I'm going to shoot all four turrets at Des Moines. And Maine doesn't look like he's shooting towards me. Doesn't look like he's aimed toward me. Can we take out Des Moines? The answer is no. We do do some pretty good damage there. So again, still operating in the middle of the map. And it's just a terrible idea. But we're in a position right now where the primary person targeting us is a destroyer. And he's targeting us from the edge of the map. Another salvo here at Maine. Watching those shells go in, really kind of lackluster. The main looked like he turned out a little bit there as those shells were coming in. So we're set on fire. Des Moines out here. Front turrets. Working on a reload. Still got the Shima out there. I'm not counting on our destroyer to do anything to help me. Got punched really hard by the main. All four turrets back out on the main. We are going to damage Khan. Oh, God, so close to death. Can we take out Bane? Yes, we can. Citadel hit. And the Kraken unleashed. All right. Front turret's back on Des Moines. 
We're gonna get our heal on. Can we take out Des Moines, folks? First two turrets are out. We're on fire with no way to put it out. Rear turrets are out. Our front turrets missed. Our rear turrets. And the six pack. Kill number six in the Ohio. So we are gonna probably burn down. Maybe as more shells come in. The last remaining ship, the Grosser Kerpers is out of our main battery range as one of our teammates runs into us. There is not a way for me to engage the ship. Uh, at least not that I can see. So I start sending good game messages because I think I am going to die. And then I realize, hey, wait a minute. I'm not going to die. I am still alive. Checking our main battery range there. Yeah, not enough to reach the GK. But all in all, I'll take it. A six pack with a couple extra medals here in the Ohio. The Brawler build. Getting close to the Jaeger. Here we are on the victory screen. Dreadnought Metal, Fireproof Metal, First Blood Metal, and the Kraken Unleashed. 115,000, or pardon me, 153,810 total damage. Six kills, six hits to Citadel, and only four secondary battery hits. One was on that destroyer who was pretty far away from me. We ended up with 383,000 and change and over 4,300 ship XP, over 4,600 commander XP in the Brawler build. Here we are at the top of the board. Four medals, six big kills, 2,785 base XP leading the way for our team. I think it is a more entertaining build than the ranged build with Mr. Willis Lee. And so let's take a look at the build. All right, secondary battery mod two in mod slot one. Mod slot two, damage control system mod two. Mod slot three, concealment system mod one. Oh, we get a beautiful, please rate legends. No, I will not rate legends and you will like it. And mod slot four, main battery mod three. Yes, I know that sounds nuts. Artillery plotting room, not mounted. All right, five charges of the repair party, six charges of the spotter plane. Got the epic battle booster here for main battery range and movement speed because I forgot to take it off. We got the standard permanent camouflage and the 2024 flag for the purposes of this video. 96,300 hit points and a 37% torpedo damage reduction with our build. Got those four twin 457 millimeter turrets, 17 and a half kilometer firing range. It looks like identical 24.7 second reload and 180 degree turn time. HE shells 6450 max damage with a 43% fire chance. AP shells 15,750 max damage. 10 twin 127 millimeter secondaries. The firing range 9.7 kilometers, the reload 3.7 seconds. HE shells 1800 max damage with a 9% fire chance. AA defense, yes, your secondaries are dual purpose. They are your longest raging AA at over five kilometers. Your best damaging AA is the 76.2 millimeter Mark 33 emplacements, which do 246 damage per second. If my eyes don't deceive me, Maneuverability, 28.8 knots, 950 meter turning circle, 18.6 second rudder shift time. And concealment, 13.8 on the surface, 11.6 from the air, 16 flat when firing from a smoke screen. Stats, well, my kill death ratio went up, um, but that 231,000 damage in the other game, um, that's pretty good, but we countered that with a six kill game. Only one of which I could call a kill pinch. Armor viewer hasn't changed. Turrets and barbettes have good armor. This purple side plate really looks nice. Um, whether it actually is meaningful, who knows. All right, here's our build Willis Lee. Base trait, don't let it spill. Reduces the flooding duration. 
and the damage control cooldown. We got Kedrov for turret traverse and Von Hipper for secondary range and grouping. Row one, no fly zone. Row two, crisscross. Row three, firefighter. Row four, master mechanic. Our legendary skill is fight fire with fire. I would love to hear what you think about this configuration in the comments. If you run a brawler build on the Ohio, please let me know your thoughts. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Hopefully I can get that Kirasame video up for you on Thursday. And I will see you then. Have a great one. Uh, fair winds and following seas, Captains.